had a lot of people ask me about how you plan a project with your leftover yarn. So here we're going to use the example of a whirl. The first thing you need to know is how many meters of yarn you have left. This information will be on the band of the yarn and if you don't have the band just go to any online store that sells it and the information will be in this little info section on the web page. So we can see that a whirl has a thousand meters of yarn and 250 15 grams. So if we have a thousand meters of yarn, we divide it by 215, we can see that each gram of yarn has 4.65 meters um, of length. So if we weigh our leftover yarn, say we have 50 grams, we can multiply, and you can see here that we have about 230 meters of yarn to play with. The next thing to do is to go to Ravelry.com Ravelry is an excellent search function, so if you click on Patterns and then go to Pattern Browser and Advanced Search, we can search the patterns in Ravelry without even knowing what we want to make. And you can use all these filters to narrow down your needs. So we're going to look at crochet. So now we've removed all the knit patterns. We know that a whirl is four ply or fingering in weight. And there's options for the yardage and meterage. So we know that we have 230 meters. So we can enter a custom range. We want patterns that use between zero and 230 meters of yarn. This reduces us down to all the patterns that fit this category. Now there's 63 pages. You can filter further if you say only want a free pattern. There's plenty of great pay patterns out there. So it depends what you're looking for. And you can see here lots of things like fingerless mittens, a little amigurumi, short scarves, little beanies, cowls. Um, and if we scroll through again, you can see lots of things like doilies as well. So if you have an idea of what you might like to make, you can click on the categories. So it tells you clothing, accessories, etc. Each of these then has a smaller section in between and you can filter accordingly. Accessories covers things like scarves, so say you wanted to make a cowl, gives you some of the examples you can see here. So here's a little lacy cowl, you click on the pattern, tells you it needs 230 yards of fingering yarn and a 3.7 millimeter hook. The pattern is available free, you click, you get your pattern. So there you go, this is how to use your uh, extra yarn to make specific projects that uses it all up.